Hey friends and resellers, it's Trish with Wellsourced coming at you with a good old fashioned Goodwill Outlet Bins haul video. So multiple weeks ago, I promised that my next video would be a Bins haul video. Um, but with that video, I did talk about our Great Dane Penny who had been having some kind of abdominal issues and we were going to be going to see a veterinary specialist, internal medicine um, specialist who hopefully could give us a clue as to what was going on with her. They did an ultrasound um, and showed that she had a mass on her colon and some other indicators of a carcinoma and that it had already kind of spread and that, you know, that she probably would have maybe a week or two left of good living conditions before it wouldn't be feasible to let her keep, you know, living the way that she was living. So she died two weeks ago today and I'm finally <laughs> sort of, I guess, ready to get back into being a perky person on these halls. It was very, very hard for our family um, and our other dogs and I'm still very much grieving. However, um, you know, it's time to get into this haul because I've been holding on to some of this stuff for a couple weeks. Half of it I have lift, listed, the other half I need to list, and so I want to go ahead and share this video with you. But I did want to give you an update as to where I've been and why I've been absent, um, and um, that's, that's where we're at. So I'll go ahead and just get started. The first item here is just one of these Lululemon tote bags that they give you at the store. I don't know if you have to purchase these or not, but they just have a snap top. I just keep them. I have a couple lotted up in my closet right now um, for sale on, I think, Poshmark only. Now, the rest of these items, um, this first batch I've already gotten listed. This is a new format for me to be standing, and I don't know that I particularly like it, but um, I just have rearranged my office a little bit, and so I'm trying to get used to it. So this is a little kid's kind of romper, jumper sort of action. It's green, it has this fun kind of sailor collar. This is totally 80s. Um, it has pockets and the brand is Monday's Child. And it is a made in USA size four, 100% cotton piece. So I just thought that was pretty fun and wanted to grab that at the bins. Next up is just a Target brand. It's the brand Wild Fable. This is a size extra large pair of jean denim overalls. They're very roomy. They have a straight leg, lots of distressing at the knees and kind of in this medium wash. So because they were an extra large and overalls, I did go ahead and pick those up. I am, I will pick up pretty much overalls in any brand. <laughs> it does not matter to me. Next up is the brand Cachet. This is an older tag. Um, this is made in the USA. I did list this as like a vintage 90s Y2K top. So it has like a mixed animal print to it and these snap buttons with a pearlized button on it and then sequins sort of all over. It was missing one sequin in the armpit, I did note that. But other than that, it is a stretchy knit, sort of definitely Y2K 90s look. Also, I'm not sure how the lighting is going to look on this, but we're just gonna go with it. This is Maggie Lennon Petites, which is a brand I don't necessarily pick up. This is, I would say, an older piece um, based on the tag and shoulder pads, so maybe 2000s but it's a 100% silk striped top. It has this knotted button detail on it I liked. And I just think it's with a black pair of slacks, a real chic look for someone. It's a textured silk, so it's a little bit more um, substantial than some of those silk shirts that just get runs in them all the time. This is the brand Modern Lux. This is just a t-shirt brand. I don't know even where this is sold. I just see it often at the thrift store. It is a celestial sun and moon with some stars. Um, 
and some roses, but it looks like it has almost like a zodiac calendar to it. I used all those keywords. It says live by the sun, love by the moon. It's a gray cropped tea. It is manufactured with that crop. So I grabbed that. This is Gap. This is an older piece. It is a linen cotton blend blazer. It's like their Academy blazer, which does historically well. I think this is like the uniform something. I think it's from 2014 or 13 though. It's an older piece, but it's definitely a classic navy blazer with some white accents. This is a fun piece. This is a vintage, I'd say 80s ski coat with by ski moves it's made in korea it's a women's size small this is just a typical old school vintage ski coat i feel like my aunt had one very similar to it with this maroon and white piping along the front has the ski hook care for your ticket at the bottom and it has this venting behind the arm that's kind of a knit to give you a little more movement while you're skiing and it did have what look like maybe some discoloration along here, but it's not very noticeable. I just sort of tried to take a picture of it and note it. This trip to the bins was, I don't know, three or four weeks ago. So I don't, I couldn't tell you if it was a good day or a bad day. Um, it was a pretty good day. I feel like it was fall break here, which not every place in the country has fall break, but in the Southeast for sure, they have a week long fall break, kind of like spring break, but in the fall and um, so things were a little crazy. A lot of people had their kids at the bins. So as I recall, um, and today here, yesterday it was almost 80 degrees <laughs> and today it's a high of 45 or something with a low. We're going to be in the freezing temps tonight of 28 degrees. And then tomorrow is Halloween. And I believe the temps are going to get down to like 28 as well, which in the South people like that's unheard of <laughs> for people to want to go trick or treating or out in weather like that. Um, because I grew up in Idaho, we always had Halloween costumes that you could wear snow pants with or like tights or long johns or your coat over or wool hat because sometimes it got very cold. So I'm excited for these temperatures. This is when it feels like fall around here and we get to turn our fireplace on and it's crisp and the leaves are falling and I like this time of year in the south. Um, but I... I don't know where I was going with that. That's it's just a nice day out today. This is Vince Camuto, which I can't tell you how many times I picked it up, maybe once or twice. This is a maxi halter style neckline, zebra print. It's got the sheer overlay. Maxi dress with this sort of gold bronze tone beading, square beads at the neckline. A couple of the beads have like a little black mark on them, but otherwise the dress is in really nice shape. And it was a size 12. So I did go ahead and grab that. This is the brand uh, Guy Harvey, but this is by AFCO. So I don't know if they bought out the brand Guy Harvey because um, I've never seen that on a tag before, but they are just fishing shirts. So it's just a navy blue pocket tee, short sleeve cotton with a tuna fish print on the back. I think it was called Tuna Splash or something like that. This is a size extra large and it was in good shape. So I did go ahead and grab that. This is already sold actually today or last night. So I need to go ahead and get it listed. I mean, get it uh, packaged up for sale. This brand, some people have maybe not heard of. The brand is Allie Miles. I do not know where this is sold, but um, I have a 100% sell through rate on this. And I think I've picked up four or five pieces in the past. So they have sort of lag and look um, tunic style tops from what I've noted. This is a cowl neck size large shirt. It's a gray underlay with this kind of torn, distressed, destroyed black overlay. And then it has a kind of funky pocket with a button little slip pocket in the front. So uh, the other sizes, I think I were in a plus size that I've sold. So I did want to try this in a non plus size and it sold pretty quickly for 27 bucks on eBay. So I'll take that. Also, I think my camera might be bouncing around a little bit, but first time in this setup. So we're just going to go with it. 
This is the brand Girlfriend, Girlfriend Collective. It's a size extra small. It's a olive green. My light is definitely blowing that out a little bit, but stretchy romper with pockets and elastic waist. Um, sleeveless style and concealed button front. I listed this, I think, for 50 bucks. There weren't a lot of comps for this exact style in this color. There were some in black. Girlfriend Collective um, is, you know, a good brand, but I have not had the best luck selling it. So we'll see how that does. Plus it's off season right now and an extra small, but um, I was not going to leave that behind. All right, this is the brand Land's End and it is a size 16 and it's a tankini top, has a padded kind of shelf bra in the center and it does it kind of cinches across the bust in a wrap style and then is sort of ruched along the side. It's orange, navy, um, green all over, like large botanical floral print or tropical floral. Just a tankini top, super easy to pair with navy blue bottoms or whatever white bottoms that you want. Um, I pick up lands and bathing suits quite often because they sell pretty well for me and especially in larger sizes, um, but especially the tankini tops or one piece. I don't pick up a ton of bottoms unless it's a really, really good brand. This is the same thing, lands and tankini top. This one's a little more modest, has this all over print in a navy white and this magenta pink. This one is a 16 petite, um, same shelf bra liner. And I'll put up along the way for all these items what I've actually listed them for on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Um, I'll say Poshmark because I do vary my prices on eBay and Mercari just based on the fact that I offer free shipping on Mercari and eBay. I try to do like a little bit different pricing because I'm not paying as much in fees. Um, but along the way, and then I'll add what I think my comps are for the other items I haven't listed yet. This is a Victoria's Secret bra, 38 double D. It's just their perfect shape bra. It is a cream kind of natural color, lace overlay with a hint of pink in it. Pretty substantial cups. There was just a little bit of wear to the straps, which I noted. Otherwise the bra was in nice condition. I will pick up pretty much any bra that doesn't look <laughs> like it has been you know, totally abused. This is the brand City Triangles. It's a vintage brand. I would say maybe 90s, made in the USA. Um, it's just a polyester, size small, but definitely a 90s Y2K cut. Has that straight across neckline, some spaghetti straps that cross in the back. It is just kind of like a slip dress, long length. And then it has these floral appliques on the front. There you can kind of see it um, where it's embroidered and then the, the rose is sort of 3D. I thought that would be fun for someone's prom or homecoming. Homecoming is pretty much over at this point, but I have had that listed. I've had all this stuff listed for the last week. I have sold one other piece. Um, it was a Chico's piece. And it was kind of like the Travelers, Chico's Travelers, but it wasn't. It was called Easy Wear, I believe. And it was that kind of knit fabric that Chico's Travelers is like. Just a black cross front, um, kind of a surplice neckline, stretchy knit top. It wasn't quite as slinky as the material for the Travelers, but it sold within a couple days on Poshmark on an offer to me for $15, which I was happy to take. I did weigh that and it cost me 75 cents or ish at the bins um, at $1.49 a pound, just so you can see that that return for me was $12 after fees on Poshmark and minus my 75 cents, you know, I'm still making on a 75 cent item, like 10 times my money. That is a good return for me on something that was super easy to list. The brand is Rang, Rangya or Rangja, and it is a new with tags. A tunic top that has a heavy embroidery and it snaps in the front but it's got little bell kind of details on it or button details 
It's long sleeve and I believe this is called a Curti, K-U-R-T-I. There's Curtis and Curtas. And I think the Curtis are the shorter length tops and like a Curta is a longer length, um, kind of more like a dress length top. That is my very limited knowledge, but this is a Pakistani company and made in Pakistan. Um, and so I did list this with all those keywords and we'll see what happens. Well, a couple times ago I came across like similar but longer style, but like 25 of them in one um, bin. They were, they had no tags. And so I was a little more, um, or I was hesitant to pick them up just because I didn't know sizing or descriptor words. So because this had a brand and was new with tags, I decided to give it a go. This is the brand Jaffna, which I don't, it's a boutique brand as far as I know. It's only, I ever see it at Ross. Um, this I thought was just cute. It's a size small, it's new with tags, and it is a paisley velvet burnout slip dress with a kind of mauve color sheer, and then it's a mauve underlay. It has adjustable spaghetti straps, just a real cute dress. This would have been cute for homecoming as well. Um, the only thing on this is that it had a bunch of like little strings on the strap. I noted it and clipped as many as I could. It's just because the fabric that they used was fraying, but I don't think it's super noticeable. And I thought it was a pretty dress. This is the brand Sun and Shadow. I feel like this is like maybe a Macy's or Dillard's house brand, but I have no clue. I'll see if I can find some information out about that. This is an extremely oversized cowl neck boxy sweater with a drop shoulder super boxy almost a dolman sleeve and a striped knit in these muted kind of purples and blues and grays very pretty super soft and i picked this up because it had um, wool and alpaca in it as in addition to acrylic so i thought what the heck this is the brand beretti means nothing to me it says it's made in italy it's one size fits all it's 70 percent acrylic but 30 percent wool and it is just a poncho top sweater top in this uh, black and cream color it does have the armholes so it's real oversized fit for some people and a little less for some <laughs> uh it does have one little it's not really a loose stitch it's just kind of a manufacturing flaw that i listed there but this is just easy throw on over a long sleeve top or a turtleneck with some jeans and boots perfect for upcoming cold weather as you saw i can maybe barely lift that um i finally went to the doctor about my arm if you have been following me you know that i fell on my treadmill in january and for preventative things like going to the dentist to have my teeth cleaned or getting my annual mammogram or annual blood work i'm very timely <clears throat> For going to the doctor for other reasons, I put it off until I absolutely cannot function. Um, and so I had fallen in the middle of January, had a pretty good summer, and now I'm in this part where I can barely move my arm. So my rotator cuff is sort of messed up and I have, a, it's called a frozen shoulder. Um, to, it's kind of the end part of this 12 month process. And this can last for like six months to three years. So. Um, I decided that it needed to be dealt with. So I did go to a doctor and um, I'm going to see a physical therapist starting next week and start on some sort of anti-inflammatory to help with, because I can't, this is like as far as I can move my arm um, up really without totally stretching it. And I'm having a hard time like shaving my armpit and putting deodorant on and getting dressed. So it was time to seek professional, <laughs> professional help for that. Uh, okay, so this is Maggie Barnes for Catherine's. I see this brand often. I don't really pick it up. I thought I would grab this to see how it did. It's just a polyester top, but I thought it was very pretty and would be pretty for like the holidays or winter. It's a kind of watercolor print. It looks like a large floral pattern almost in this shimmery gray and light gray pattern. It's just a popover long top with tab sleeves and it is semi sheer. So I thought it was pretty and had some things going for it. So what, so I go ahead and give it a try. 
This is Knox Rose, which is Target. It is a size small, but it was new with tags, and I have a really hard time leaving new with tags items behind. It has, it's like a little bit of smocking at the bust, short sleeves. It is a ray on top. It's longer in the back and a little bit shorter in the front. So, you know, 12 to 15 bucks maybe, but it weighs 75 cents worth. So to me, that's an okay return. This is Torrid. When it's just a t-shirt, it's their classic fit tee and it has New York spell out with this tie dye on it. This is a size 4X and which could easily fit a 2X or a 3X as well. It is 100% cotton and it was from 2021. So definitely a newer tee. So I wanted to pick that up. I don't pick up all Disney stuff, but things that are Disney parks or Disney, this one says Walt Disney World on it. It's a size large. It is like a junior sizing. I would consider this. So I did, of course, put measurements and list that it was um, a little bit running small. I thought it's just a white, it's polyester, but it feels like cotton windbreaker with this embroidered gray Mickey on it. And it has this, it's like the Louis Vuitton print sort of in my mind on the inside with Mickey Mouse heads and it shows through in a few areas just as kind of an abstract, I don't know, subtle detail. And I don't like picking up white items, but that was super crisp white and I did wash it just for kicks to make sure that it was fully um, clean. This is Eileen Fisher, size extra small. This is 100% organic linen sweater striped with this natural color and cream. It is a lighter weight definitely a transitional, you know, spring, um, early fall, and this would be great in the summer over a tank top on cooler evenings. And I found one other Eileen Fisher piece this day. And I looked it over so closely. I held it like this, and then I turned it around and looked at it, only to discover when I came home that it had this hole here. I honestly think they had the tag in there, maybe in a store, and they ripped it off. Um, it was a size extra large though. I was so bummed and it's a, a lightweight striped shirt. So I will repair that hole for myself and then just wear this. It's way too fitted for me to wear outside of the house with, I mean, I'll wear under overalls basically cause it's fitted. So I did go ahead and pick, uh, pick that up thinking I could resell it, but I noticed the hole when I got home. Okay, this is the brand Rebellion. I don't know where this is sold. It's a size large. It is a lace mesh crochet duster length kimono top cardigan thing. Um, these are kind of like a large paisley print, very boho festival concert summer. My husband and I went and saw um, Hardy in concert on Friday. We'd gotten those tickets months and months ago. And he, my husband just had been out of town for the last couple of weeks, so he got home. So we were able to go to that. And he was a really good concert. My husband really enjoys Hardy, who's a mixture of like rap, rock, heavy metal, and country. Um, I don't listen to a lot of his music. I just wasn't familiar with it a ton, but I had a really good time. It was a fun, super fun concert. But long story short on that is that duster that I was just showing you. There was a girl who was walking um, down some stairs. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just picked up that exact same kind of duster. So obviously people are wearing it still. This is the brand Intro, size extra large. I think this is sold at Dillard's because I believe I had a shirt like this um, brand before from there. This is a peasant top with a bit of a flare sleeve. It's a, a gauzy white, this is rayon, but gauzy white with black floral embroidery. Just a cute top, has a smocked neck on it. I don't pick up a lot of American Eagle, but I pick up the shorts, even if they're an older piece. This is a newer piece, but it's American Eagle Comfort Stretch Waistband. It's a mom short, size two from 2021. Just a distressed, high-waisted mom short from American Eagle. Those weigh nothing. <laughs> they take me two seconds to list and I might get 15 to 18 bucks for it, but that's fine by me. It's a listing, especially on days when you're not finding stuff. 
I know those will sell, so I'm happy to pick it up. This is Loft. I love Loft stuff. It's just, I like the style of most of it. Uh, this is the Riviera short. Because it had a name, you know, if someone bought a Riviera short and they wanted different colors or different um, patterns, they could easily look that up and find it. This is a fun periwinkle blue color with a yellow floral pattern. They're a size eight and they are cotton viscose with a little bit of stretch and they feel brand new. Like the um, pockets are still sewn shut and they're just really crisp. Here's another loft piece. This is a size 12, I think. Yep. And it is just an, uh, kind of a tweed open jacket. This also had everything sewn shut still. Three quarter length sleeves. Oh no, those are full length sleeves. Has this coral um, lining in it just as a contrast while it's hanging. It's a wrinkle mess now. It looked nice while I hung it up on the uh, mannequin to take photos. And the split in the back is still um, sewn shut. So it felt like it was in really almost new condition. This is the brand Hurley. I just grabbed it because it was a size medium um, sport bra. That was it. There was no rhyme or reason, but honestly the comps on those were not super bad. This is the brand True Kind. It's a double XL, the everyday essential throw on wire free bra. I'm hearing noises downstairs. It must be the washing machine. It's just a um, stretchy knit bra that's lightweight, soft and comfortable. This is Express the Portofino shirt. This is about the only thing I pick up in Express unless it's a really fun piece. It's irrelevant of style or brand. This is a sheer navy top with little red hearts. So I used keywords like Valentine's Day, love, you know, engagement, but this would be cute for someone to wear to the office in February. This is the brand Ember, which I only ever see at Ross, but it's just a boutique brand, size medium. It's a, again, mesh lace duster length kimono top, all over floral print, roses and something roses and what well, I guess wild roses and then it has a bit of a flare sleeve with these lace crochet inserts so I did grab that so Seahawks fan that's that's us <laughs> we they had a good game last night um so we are definitely Seahawks fans so I pick up anything Seahawks because we're in Tennessee, where you see a lot of Titan stuff, and so it's fun when I find Seattle Seahawks stuff in Tennessee. This is just a youth um, size extra large. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, glittery. Seahawks kind of slub uh, knit rounded hem tee with a little bit of split neck. So that was fun. I grabbed this belt. I thought it would definitely have a market for um, somebody. My lighting is horrible. I apologize. Just bear with me. I'll get it better for the next video. <laughs> but it has ducks all over it, like different um, colors of ducks, mallards, I guess. And it, the brand is the Belted Cow Company, made in Maine. So um, there we go. And it has just leather accent, and this is a canvas belt with that ribbon detail has a solid brass buckle and I think I listed this I can't remember I'll have to put it on the screen but um I don't remember what they retailed for like 60 and above on their website so anyway I just thought that was a fun belt okay I don't I'm not 100 in love with listing ties but I they were what was available this day at the bins um this is a peanuts tie 100% silk tie. This is a vintage tie. It says who's got the comics. And so I did go ahead and pick that up. 
And then I picked up, I'll show you them all at once. I lotted these all together as one listing. They are vintage Tabasco ties, um, collector ties. They are 100% silk. This one is <laughs> has all this Tabasco, sort of a Louisiana look to it um, with some alligators and some lobsters or crawfish, I guess, and or shrimp, no crawfish. And they all say Tabasco. This one says McElhenney, um, has oysters, about talking about oysters. I don't like Tabasco at all. I like green Tabasco. My husband loves Tabasco. You know, it's made out of um, Jack Daniels whiskey barrels is where they, they take the Jack Daniels whiskey barrels that have been used and are no longer going to be used for whiskey. Um, and then they sell them to Tabasco and Tabasco makes their um, hot sauce in those barrels. And so I don't like Jack Daniels whiskey. So that's my reason for not liking Tabasco. But um, if you are ever in Tennessee and, you know, Nashville is a big scene for people I understand, but if you do have a chance to go to Lynchburg to go to the Jack Daniels distillery, um, it's an interesting history and it's kind of fun to see the process of making Tennessee whiskey and the bottling and how it's a dry county. So they don't actually sell alcohol in their county except at the, at the, um, the facility. So the South has all sorts of stuff. You know, we can't buy beer on Sundays until noon and you can't buy wine on Sundays at all. <laughs> and it was up until a couple years ago, you couldn't buy wine in the grocery stores. You had to go to a liquor store. So it's just definitely a different place. I remember when I moved here, we were in Nashville and I was trying, I wanted to get two buck chucks at Trader Joe's <laughs> because I love two buck chucks. And, um, I was like, what, what do you mean they don't sell two buck chucks here? And it had a sign that said two buck chucks or Charles Shaw of wine coming in 186 days or something. I've been here eight years. So um, uh, finally they were able to start selling wine in the Trader Joe's. That is a very random story for you starting with this Tabasco tie, but just, just roll with it. Um, and then there's the third or there's uh, the third one is here. So anyway, there, one of them did have a little bit of fraying on the side. I just noted it. It doesn't show when you're actually wearing it as a tie. And I lotted those together, um, I, for all three silk ties, I think for 35 bucks. So they weigh less than a pound. So why not? This is a vintage Looney Tunes Mania Bugs Bunny tie. This is <clears throat> polyester made in Korea. And it just has Bugs Bunny in a state, a different states of emotion here. Um, so I did pick that up. This I just grabbed for myself. It's JC Penny. It's St. John's Bay. No, Anna. So a new approach. I don't know why I picked this up. I don't like white items <laughs> or cream items because I feel like I'll get them dirty. And guess what? This was not on there at the bins. I don't know if you could see it. It's like a little makeup marker. I got that on there since being home. So that's my, my bad. But it's a cable knit sweater. I don't know. On a crisp winter day around here, which we have a couple, I thought it would be fun to wear. Um, if I can get that mark out, I may go ahead and list it. It says it retailed for 50 bucks. We know that um, JCPenney is always having a sale. So if I can get that little mark out, I may just go ahead and list it rather than keep it for myself. All right, let me go ahead and scooch this stuff down. So these are the items I have not listed yet and need to get to. This is just a pair of Soma pajama bottoms for me. So that's nothing super exciting. This was exciting. This is the first time I found this brand or this style. This is um, Levi's. It's the rib cage straight ankle in a size 27 in this black wash. So I was pretty excited about this because I've never found the rib cage or the um, wedgie. And so we'll see how these do. Pretty excited. I feel like a 27 is not as small. It's not like a 24. So it's kind of a mid size. So excited to get those listed. <clears throat> this is Loft, I think, or Ann Taylor. Ann Taylor, size 14. And they are a like burgundy wine, maroon color pair of pants, slacks. They have a bit of a pleat in the front, which is, you know, trendy. It's not like these are old. And um, they are a straight leg. 
and I did check that they had not been altered or hemmed at the bottom. And they were not wool or anything, they're just polyester, I think. Polyester rayon spandex. Um, they looked brand new. They still had where the tag was on the back, there's still some strings. So I really don't think that these were worn very much, if at all. Oh, okay, this is just for me. This is just a Livy, which is Lane Bryant's active wear line, um, size extra large workout top that I thought I would grab. All right, this is Athleta size small, um, but the style seems to do pretty well. It is an older, it doesn't have the date on it, so it is an older piece, but this style seems to do pretty well. So I, I'll have to tell you what the style is uh, at some point, <laughs> but I, I couldn't tell you now. It's in this kind of peacock green color. These are a pair of Madewell jeans. They're a size 27 tall. They're the 10 inch high rise skinny. So they are a skinny jean, but if there's any time to wear skinny jeans, would be under boots in the winter. It's a light wash, high rise, skinny jean. So same size as those other Levi's. This is a pair of Soma pajama bottoms, same as the other ones, except these are a size medium. They are a black pajama bottom or lounge pant kind of thing in an animal's cheetah print. And I have the same pair here in a pair of black. Uh, these are like a cropped length. And these are a full length, but I'm going to lot them together. Um, just because maybe part they'd get 13 to 15. Um, maybe I'll get 25 for both of them. We'll see. So much stuff is so nice and soft. It's hard to leave behind. All right, this is a pair of Chico's. This is a size zero, which is a size four. They do have the size on the newer tags, um, not just their size chart, but it actually says the US sizing. But this is a pair of pull-on um, pants in a straight leg with this python print has a split leg at the bottom i just thought these were good for the upcoming season and the real like snatched in waist here so i did go pick i go ahead and pick those up regardless of the fact that they were a size zero which would be a small um all right this is white house black market the blanc 14 regular these are a pair of like boot cut jeans. I like White House Black Market. These had a little bit of bling on the butt, some diamond pattern blings there. There are probably a few missing jewels, but if someone's looking that close at your back pocket, they're too close, right? So I, I thought I would just go ahead and grab those. White House Black Market stuff does sell. All right, so this is the 724 High Rise Street from Levi. This is also in a size 27. And they're just a distressed straight leg medium wash pant in a high rise. So when I list all those, um, the other pair of Levi's and the Madewell jeans, I will list all three of those at the same time, just in case one person is like, oh, I'm a size 27. What other size 27 pants does she have? Um, I'll list those all at the same time, just so that in case they're interested in bundling together, they have an opportunity to do that. All right, this is Melissa McCarthy size 16 for um, seven. And they're not as, she does a nice plus size line with seven that has sold pretty well for me in the past. A 16 isn't as plus size as the other sizes I've sold in the past. However, I did go ahead and pick them up anyway. Um, they are just a cute denim jean. They are, they do have a raw hem at the bottom. <sighs> I think that somebody has cut these off because they either stepped on the bottoms too much and needed to cut them off, but they did an okay job. It's a straight leg. So, you know, I'll see. Um, what the style looks like and how much has been cut off. And then I'll just note it in the listing. Okay, this is the 
Melissa McCarthy 716 as well. It's the girlfriend jean. It's a slimming silhouette system. And just another pair of jeans. Has this patch pocket detail in the front. There is a little bit of puckering in the crotch area, but really it's not that bad. It's mostly because this distressing. So I may just lock these up with the other pair since they're both the same size. Um, the thighs were in pretty good condition in the butt. So happy about that. And these are just a full length pant. So there's those. And finally, clothes wise, we have a pair of Adidas um, size large men's sweatpants. But they have a Peloton spell out on it. So I did go ahead and grab them. They're nice. These are nice sweatpants. Um, it has the Adidas logo here with the Peloton logo embroidered. They have zipper pockets. They're just a jogger sweat. The comps were all over the place on those sort of, but I feel like with the right keywords, you can kind of, you know, sell anything. <laughs> okay, let's just do these shoes real quick. So the first pair of shoes we have here, it's a size nine. It's Beach by Matisse. So Matisse does like coconuts and other cowboy boot kind of things. This is a snake print faux leather cork wedge with this, um, here we go. It has this is elastic and then it, this is the sling black, sling back. It has the open toe here. So um, in good condition, there was like a little um, something going on with the faux, it's faux cork on the front, but I just don't feel like it's super noticeable if you're wearing the shoe. And so I did go ahead and grab those. These are extremely cute. They are White Mountain, which I, I don't know. I think I have one pair of shoes I've never sold from them. Um, they are a size something, eight and a half. It's a leather upper, and I can't quite read the rest of it, but there are an espadrille. This is a black suede flat with this bow detail on the front with kind of a pom-pom fringe. Just a really cute espadrille. I think these are great going into fall or spring or even summer, um, but just a cute shoe. I will pick up Crocs, especially if they're clean most of the time. This is a pair of Crocs, the iconic Crocs Comfort, size nine, I believe. And it is a snake print, sling back, strappy sandal so you know not much more to say about that this is a pair of blowfish sandals i've had blowfish sandals in the past um that i've enjoyed their vegan footwear is how they're hyped up so they're faux leather i thought i saw a size on these when i was at the bins and then i came home to find out that there was not a size on here and that they had more kind of heel wear than i was expecting I just really thought they were a cute style. So I'm probably going to redonate these um, maybe to a friend who has a smaller foot because they don't have a size. The only thing I will buy without sizes is, are these. Uh, these are rainbow flip flops and they typically don't have a size on them or it wears off. So their actual website you go to, the rainbow website, it'll tell you how to measure and from heel to the top of the toe and what that equates to in like size wise for a shoe. I'm gonna say this is about a seven based on how it fits my foot. These did have light wear, but I have 100% sell through on rainbow uh, flip flops. So I went with that. These are a pair of Italian shoemakers. I don't always pick up this brand, but these are in really good condition. Um, well, it's upside down. They're size eight and a half, made in Italy. They're just a leather sandal, and it looks like the Amore is what they are. These are kind of a copper brown color with this beaded floral um, detail at the toe, and they're just a thong sandal, and literally look brand new. I mean, like they've either worn, been worn once or not at all or inside only. So I did go ahead and grab those. 
Next up are a pair of little girls or little kids keen sandals and they are a size US9 little kids and in this pink fun color. Gonna have a little bit of wear but overall in good condition. I will pick up jeans all the time. All right and last up we have uh, Vionic. I have this exact same shoe already listed in my closet so at least I know all the information on it has these straps that close with a hook and loop, sling back, hook and loop. And then they have this sort of bejeweled um, beads on the toes. These are a size US 10. So happy to pick those up. They were in better condition than the other pair I have. So hoping that those sell pretty quickly. So that is it. That's my haul for this time. Um, I think I did all right. I've got two items that have already sold. I really just started listing that stuff last week. <laughs> and I've got, as you can see, quite a few items I still need to get listed um, so that I can move on to the next bins haul that I already have here for you. I just need to get the, that stuff, this stuff listed so I can vi a video the next one. Um, anyway, thanks so much. I'm sorry I wasn't here the last couple weeks. I do love putting out content weekly on Fridays for you. And I do have a What Soul video coming up in the next week as well. I might just put out an additional video just um, for uh, more items that have sold on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari for $25 or more for items that I specifically sourced at the bins at $1.49 a pound. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care.